Hey guys, what's going on? Me and Alex back with a brand new video. Today I'm doing a review on the Lego Star Wars Mandalorian Trus Trouble on Tatooine set. Cool set. If you have money, find it on Amazon or lego.com, buy it. It's amazing. 25 quid or $30. I like it, but anyway, let's get on with it. Start with, we obviously have a big man himself, Mando or Din Djarin. And if you notice, got misprinted helmet. As tradition of 2020 and 2021. Hopefully different in 2022. Black head still. Even though we've seen his face. Yeah. Then we've got Beskar. Here. Where there's belts and stuff. We've got the old school revolver as a pistol. Great. Yeah. Great. Haven't seen that a million times before. And his disruptor rifle, which... Is a lightsaber hilt, a clip arm thing, and a blaster pistol. The lightsaber hilt's the wrong way around. I just realised that. I will fix that afterwards. But yeah, that's cool. Then, if we actually look on his arm, you can see the Mudhorn emblem from when he killed the Mudhorn with the help of Grogu, obviously. Then we have the Beskar back, even though it's covered by his cape. Good job, good job. Way to use your brain, Lego. Got his flamethrower on this side, I'm pretty sure. His flamethrower is there. And he's got his whistling birds on that side. If we move on to the Tuscan Raider, he has a bodged gaffy stick. Yay, it looks rubbish. I hate the gaffy stick. It looks so bad. And yeah, got his robe, got his belts and stuff. Custom molded head. Looks amazing, by the way. And got his back print belt the other side of belt and robe and stuff then last but not least grogu they need to do a custom mold for his body it's got print i guess but custom mold for his body would be amazing plus for some reason my grogu's head is loose i don't know why it just is but yeah first build is the speeder bike mando speeder bike so you can put mando in it's ridiculously hard I'm not even going to try on camera, but it takes, like, three hands to do it. So hard. Well, it will take two, but it's hard. And then if you get his blaster, you can stick it in there. You can put his other blaster in the other clip. Got You can't clip his hands into there. It's just, yeah. Got that, which is the bit front. Then got the pedal there, where you, that's kind of like a pedal. Then here is his backpack. And actually, in the instructions, these two are just put on there, right? And to start with, in the instructions, is the last thing, and it's just stuck on. And it's super weak. It's a weak connection. But then I put these on, and I was like, oh, that makes sense. And for this pouch, you can actually stick Grogu in. So like that. Or like that actually. But yeah. Stick Rogu in. Stays in nice and firmly. Tub tip it upside down, like so. Stays in. It's cool. Anyway, let's move on to personally my favourite is the Ballista. It's slightly bigger than it looks. I like it. Got this tiny little revolver piece and this can twist, pretend you're tightening the strings which are on this and here, which, well, we don't actually tighten them, they're just there to look cool. And you swing load shooter, press that down, and it'll shoot. That just shot, and I'm probably never going to find it. Then you've got the forearms there. Got the uh, little things underneath to hold it up. Got see-through bit here to keep it balanced. I mean, you don't need this bit, really. You don't need the see-through bit, really, but it's a... This bit here, which is really weird, it goes down. And I don't know what it's for, but it's there. Yeah, got it. It looks cool. I like it. Not much to it. I like it. You can stick your Tuscan Raider on here. And the box art, for some reason, has the Mando shooting at this and the Tuscan shooting at him with the Ballista, even though they are on the same side in the set. <sighs> Mind blown, right? Don't know why. It makes absolutely zero sense. But if we move on to this, this is a tent. Brick built too. But it is actually 
um open it's like half a tent with a fire pit inside if it was full it, it's really weird it doesn't make sense but the, the play aspect of it is quite good got a column here which is where it would all connect got a bone in a pot here i guess that's cool got a fire pit obviously then got a bowl there for some reason these can open up like that i don't know if that's a play feature or if it's just how it's built and it happens to be able to do that not too sure oh and it has a spot here with a bodged gaffy stick got to get it come on come on yeah there you go it's not that hard it's just doing it one-handed is hard basically then got it all this background like so it's nice i like it i really like this it's a nice addition to my oversized collection hello I'm talking to you that is really big but yeah this has been next to me the whole time i am talking to you you are my oversized collection Pure, purely you alone but yeah oh haven't even done a review on the stand it's on yet have i <laughs> i will do that but yeah this is the Trouble on Tatooine set. It's cool. Anyway, see you next time with a brand new video. Peace.